Intervals larger than an octet. Ear training. Hello, and welcome to Ear Training with Spock. This video contains two tests on the chromatic intervals larger than an octave. When we count intervals, we count them in scale steps, starting with the unison, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and the octave, which is represented by a P for perfect and an eight. So when we go one larger than eight, we call that a ninth. So a major second plus an octave is what we call a major ninth. A minor second plus an octave would be a minor ninth. So a major third plus an octave is what we call a major tenth. And there's a minor tenth. A perfect fourth plus an octave is a perfect eleventh. And then there's a sharp eleven. And then we have the perfect twelfth, which is the same as a perfect fifth plus an octave. Then we get to the thirteenth. Major thirteenth minor 13th, and then when we get up to the 7th, we don't usually call that a 14th. We usually call that a minor 7 plus an octave, or a major 7 plus an octave, and then two octaves. For this test, we're just going to concern ourselves with the intervals greater than an octave, starting at the minor 9th, up to the major 7 plus an octave. And there aren't many of the major sevens plus an or minor sevens plus an octave. It's mostly the other ones which we use more, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, the twelfth, and the thirteenth. As always, these tests are built on two levels, those for the beginning ear training student, in which case you just want to be able to identify what the intervals are, major nine, minor tenth, and so forth. For the advanced ear training students, we start off with a C major scale to get your bearings, and then from then on your task is to not only name the intervals, but also name the notes. So that first one was C and D, a major ninth. Every subsequent interval, we either share a note or move by, one of the notes will move by step to the next one. And so, okay, C moved to D, and that's a major tenth, so that's a D and an F sharp. Now, this is a tricky test. As I was putting it together, I noticed that there were a couple of times when Particularly if you're trying to guess what the notes are, it's, you get caught in enharmonic equivalent land. So you may want to keep your finger on the space bar so that after I state the question, which you will hear three times, first together, and then ascending, and then you'll hear them together again, and then I'll give you the answer. And there's only about a second or two before the answer comes in, so you may want to pause and to think for these, because this is a little trickier than uh, the other tests were. Here we go. Good luck. Test number one, intervals larger than an octave, the C major scale. Major ninth, the notes G and A. Major tenth, the notes A flat and C. Minor tenth, the notes G and B flat. Perfect twelfth, the notes F and C. Major ninth, the notes A flat and B flat, or G sharp and A sharp. Perfect. 
perfect eleventh, the notes E and A. Minor ninth, the notes F sharp and G. Major tenth, the notes G and B. Augmented eleventh, or sharp eleven, the notes A flat and D natural. Major thirteenth, the notes F and D. Minor tenth, the notes A and C. Perfect twelfth, the notes G and D. Major thirteenth, the notes E flat and C. Minor thirteenth, the notes F and D flat, or E sharp and C sharp. Major ninth, the notes B flat and C. Major tenth, the notes A and C sharp. End of test one. Test number two: chromatic intervals larger than an octave, the C major scale. Perfect eleventh, the notes C and F. Minor tenth, the notes C sharp and E. Minor ninth, the notes D and E flat.
major tenth, the notes D flat and F, or C sharp and E sharp. Tritone plus an octave, augmented eleventh or diminished twelfth, the notes A and either D sharp or E flat. Major thirteenth, the notes F and D. Perfect eleventh, the notes G and C. Major ninth, the notes A flat and B flat, or G sharp and A sharp. An octave plus a major seventh, the notes C and B natural. Major tenth, the notes A flat and C. Perfect twelfth, the notes B flat and F. Minor tenth, the notes C and E flat. Major ninth, the notes B and C sharp, or C flat and D flat. Major tenth, the notes B flat and D. Minor thirteenth, the notes A and F. An octave plus a minor seventh, the notes A flat and G flat, or G sharp and F sharp. Perfect twelfth, the notes B flat and F.
major ninth, the notes C and D. End of test two.